Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. And in this video, all we're gonna do is talk about guitar picks. I'm gonna make some suggestions for guitar picks you should use when you're playing an acoustic guitar versus when you're playing an electric guitar, as well as guitar picks that you might wanna consider if you are an absolute beginner. So watch this video all the way through to the end because I'm gonna go over a variety of different picks, specifically the Dunlop line of picks. So let's get into the video. So what guitar pick to use really comes down to personal preference because there's all kinds of materials and all different feels. So I usually recommend that people buy and play with a variety of different picks. And I'm gonna talk about some pick packs that you can purchase. I'll put links below in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of the picks we talk about today. So my overall favorite type of guitar pick is called the Dunlop Tortex guitar pick. I like them, they have a good little coating on them, and I'm gonna show you some different sizes here that I recommend to my guitar students. So for beginner guitarists, I often recommend what we call a light pick, and these are the Dunlop Torque Techs, I'll zoom in here. They're light picks. So these picks, they are 0.50 and 0.60 millimeters. They're very, very flexible. I like recommending more flexible picks to beginners because usually your strumming, whether you're playing electric or acoustic, is super stiff, your strumming hand. So the flexibility in the pick, they're super flexible. And the flexibility makes your guitar sound a little bit better because your, your wrist doesn't have the flexibility to relax. So the pick gives you a little more flexibility and can make you sound a little bit better as a beginner. So these are light picks. And once you get up to, you know, relaxing a little bit, especially if you're an acoustic guitar player, these are the two picks that I like to play with on my acoustic. And next I'll show you the ones um, on the electric that I like to use and we'll get into the pick packs. But here are the two that I like for acoustic. They're 0.77 and 0.88 millimeters. And I like these for acoustic. They're, they, these are more like a medium thickness pick. And I like them because they're not as floppy as those beginner picks. And then for electric guitar, I usually use the blue one. I've used the purple one, um, but I don't like my guitar picks too thick. But for electric guitar, I'll usually use these ones. This is 0.10 millimeters and I think 1.14. You can get them thicker and I'll show you some picks over here. But the reason I like these Dunlop Tortex picks is because they do have a, a little bit of a curve to them. And for my acoustic guitar, I like that. Um, I like the feel of it. And like I said, it's not a really smooth surface, so it has a little bit better of a grip as I drop the pick on the floor. Um, but those are my preferences. But what I'm gonna talk about next are some pick packs that Dunlop Pick offers that you might be interested in purchasing to try out a variety of different picks. So I have four packs of picks here that I'm gonna go over. I'll probably open one up. But this first one here, um, so there are 12 packs, and this is the Dunlop, it's the light medium, if I can get it, there we go, it's zoomed in. Um, it's light medium, so it has some of the Tortex picks in there. It also has some Gator Grip picks, which some people like. They think that it's a little bit more better of a grip. They also have some celluloid, which are the really smooth surface picks. I don't like those. I feel like they, they fall out very easy. Um, and they also have the Max Grip picks, which I will show you up close. Those ones are really great for beginners too. And then we have the Medium Heavy Pack, so this is if, you know, if you're playing electric, you'll see on the back side here, there's one of those Jazz 3 picks that we can talk about, that red pick. And then there's other packs here that are specifically for acoustic or electric guitar. So all the picks in here, there are a variety of different picks made specifically for acoustic players and electric players. So what I'm gonna do it here is I'm actually gonna open up this electric guitar pick pack here from Dunlop. And I love these packs because they come with a variety of different picks. There's 12 um, different picks in here, or maybe there's six different picks. There's a bunch of them on the back. Um, but you'll see I have some Tortex picks here. I also have what we call some Jazz 3 picks. So these are Jazz 3. Very, very tiny teardrop shape. If I put it on my Tortex, you'll see here. There we go. Now, the Jazz 3s are very common 
for electric lead guitar playing. I don't really use these on acoustic. I've used um, Jazz 3 guitar picks before, but they have a very, very pointy tip. If I can get this to zoom in, you see how pointy that tip is? So it allows for very precise picking. Um, and a lot of people say it gives an improved tone. I typically play with a regular pick when I'm playing electric guitar, but these are a great option. And this is actually a max grip pick. So if I zoom in again, you'll see there's kind of like a textured coating on them, which allows for better grip of the guitar pick. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so there's flex picks. You know, these are, you know, this is a really thick Dunlock. Altec Sharp. So this is two millimeters thick, really, really thick pick here. So you'll see for electric guitar in this pack, there's a lot more thicker um, picks because, you know, for there's better control with a thicker pick. And I think that's why a lot of electric guitar players use a thicker pick for electric guitar. And just to open up one more pack, I'll open up the acoustic guitar one because there's a couple different picks in here that I'll show you. Um, again, it comes with some Dunlop Tortex picks. You'll see that we have the six millimeter, the 88 millimeter, and the 77 millimeter. So all those great picks that I recommended earlier. This is the celluloid pick. Um, if I can get it, there you go. It's really, really smooth versus this max grip. So this has some max grip nylons and they're very thin. And you'll see here, if I can get to zoom, there is a textured coating on the pick. These are great for beginners because beginners sometimes they feel like the pick falls out of their hand. So this acoustic pack is really good for beginners. And there's also a few of these Flex Tortex picks. Um, I don't have much experience with the Flex Tortex, so I, I might want to test these out. They don't look like they have much of a curve to them. Um, but those are interesting. I've never used those ones before. We also have that Dunlop, U, uh, the one with the Rhino. So it's got a little bit more of a rounded feel to it. It feels a little smoother than the Tortex. And this is why it's great to buy a pick pack because you can try, you know, buy a couple of them, buy three or four. One, you'll have a variety of picks. But two, also you'll have a lot of picks to try because, you know, I love the Dunlop Tortex. I've used them for years, but you really might like the smooth feel of a celluloid guitar pick. And there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it sometimes they can change the tones. People talk about how different materials change tone. You can even buy wood picks or stone picks. But my recommendation would be to go to the description in the link below. Click on a couple of these pick packs, you know, buy them through Amazon, get them delivered, try them, get a feel for what you like, and you'll have a variety of different sizes and thicknesses. And remember, usually thinner strings for be or thinner picks for beginners and acoustic players, thicker picks for electric guitar playing. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below on maybe the type of pick that you really love to use when you're playing. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can see when I put out more content. YouTube's gonna recommend a couple videos over here. Go check those out and I hope to see you guys in another lesson video.